right. Go ahead. Right. So how many people have been following the recent news of the NFL lockout? Well, for those of you who don't know, um, the judge ruled in favor of the players and lifted the lockout. But the NFL decided to not follow that, and they, they asked to have the lockout put back in place. But last night, the judge said, no, there's no lockout. The fans want no, the fans want an NFL. And how many of you guys actually watch the NFL? Or the Super Bowl, at least? Well, five out of the top six showings of all time, according to Nielsen ratings, are Super Bowls. And it goes on to 21 of the top 45 are all Super Bowls. So, and last, last year, the NBA Finals, the, all eight, uh, seven games averaged out to 18.1 million views. The first four weeks of the NFL season last year averaged 18.9 million views. So, if it's so popular, why should there be no NFL? Well, 23 years of a, of a stable entertainment has created addicts of the NFL for fans. Fueled by um, the NFL Network, which covers the NFL 24-7, the ESPN, which covers NFL news all the time, and HBO, which has hard knocks, which covers the inside of the team. So what's bad about being an addict? Outcomes can ruin your entire day or all of a week, and you also often get in fights and arguments over teams. Addictions are unhealthy, and they create bad habits. Uh, a lot of people tailgate before they go to NFL games, and this leads to drinking and eating bad. A study done, done by Minnesota University, 82% uh, of tailgaters had at least two drinks, and during the game, 50% of people drank. So they estimated 5,000 to 10,000 people left the game drunk, and unfortunately, because not everyone has worked out a designated driver, this leads to some drunk driving. And as well as drinking being unhealthy, the food involved in the NFL is also unhealthy. Tailgating food ranges from hot dogs to some, a lot of snack foods that you just constantly eat before the game. Um, stadium food, the nachos are 1,100 calories, and as well as being really unhealthy, it's also very unsanitary. Uh, ESPN covered the uh, health inspection reports, and these are stadiums. Just on this map, these aren't all NFL stadiums, but there were seven NFL stadiums on this map that 50 to 75 percent of their vendors failed health inspections, and three actually failed 75 percent to 100 percent, and a lot of this was because Workers didn't wash their hands. Uh, they didn't cook the food all the way. They didn't store the food in the right temperature to not kill bacteria. Or there was mice droppings in and around the food where they cooked, it, cooked the food. So if there's no NFL season, you're, you can develop healthier habits or at least avoid unsanitary food. Um, as well as creating unhealthy habits, it's also a lot of money to be an NFL fan. An average game ticket is $75. An average fan spends about $483 a year on that, their uh, team. I know my friend has season tickets for four, the four members of their family, and that's $5,000 a year, and that's just on tickets. That's not including parking passes, the food they, they bring there, the food they buy there. It's a lot of money involved. There's a, a fan that actually calculated it, and uh, they they ended up saying they ended up including all the tickets, the travel costs for the game, what they spend on food they bring to their house and parties they have at their house, and the cost of the NFL Network and the channels involved. They calculated for two games of at a sports bar or a restaurant. They have gambling, which includes fantasy football leagues and betting on teams. I know I do fantasy football. It's we do twenty dollars, but I know sometimes people like my dad do like a hundred to two hundred dollars on fantasy leagues, and then there's clothing, and she estimated that she spends about $3,700 a year. Well, this is a little overstated for most college students. Um, you can still save hundreds to thousands of dollars, and with no NFL season, you can save a lot of money and spend it on better things. As well as being uh, money-consuming, it's also very time-consuming. NFL games go from about 1 to 11.30 on Sundays and 8 to 11.30 on Mondays. That's, a, that's about 12 hours, which is almost a full week of class. So with the free time, you can, do, you can do a lot of homework. You can spend it with family time. 
There's a study done by the American Sports Association with uh, sports and romantic relationships where spouses actually felt like they were going to get yelled at or just on uh, just not felt comfortable with their, their husbands after their team lost. So with that time, you can uh, build a better relationship. With no NFL, there's more time for homework, family, and friends. Um, if there's no NFL season, uh, people can't uh, cold turkey addictions often. So rather than watching the NFL, last year, uh, a World Series game actually got less views than one single NFL game. So instead of watching the NFL, you can watch the World Series. Also, NHL. I know I enjoy NHL. Washington Capitals is actually good, unlike any other Washington team, so that's kind of fun. And also, college basketball starts in the, in the winter, and it's easy for us to watch that because you can go to uh, Comcast Center and watch that. Then if you really need to get your football fix, you can go and watch uh, Maryland Terrapins at Bird Stadium. And you can also watch golf, tennis, and other options. So if there's no NFL season, you can uh, diversify yourself in uh, many other sports. You can also spread the revenue to a lot smaller earning uh, leagues. <coughs> so currently with the judge, uh, they do think there's going to be an NFL season because fans want it and the NFL owners aren't getting much leeway with her. So even if there is an NFL season, uh, I hope this has helped you guys realize the unhealthy habits of being an NFL fan. How many of you guys are going to avoid stadium food, knowing that it's pretty unsanitary? Yeah. It leads to, uh, no NFL season can lead to better eating. You have more money, more time on your hands. You, got, you can diversify yourself in other sports. Um, hopefully no NFL season. If there were to be no NFL season, it can wean off many fans off the sports addiction they have. And on a side note, last time there was a work stoppage, the NFL... Uh, the Redskins won the Super Bowl, so if you're a Redskins fan, that's good to know.